Welcome to Nature Kids at McLib. You know, we all have a different idea about what nature is, but for me, part of nature is I like to grow things. I like to grow plants. And so every year I have a vegetable garden. And my favorite vegetable, although it's really a fruit, is the tomato. Yeah. So I thought I would tell you a little bit about tomatoes today and show you, well, I picked a bunch this morning. Would you like to see them? Let's take a look. These are some of the early tomatoes this year, so they're kind of small. This one's always small. This is a cherry tomato called a black cherry. And then sometimes tomatoes are yellow. Sometimes they're brown. This is one of my favorites. This one's called Cherokee purple. Mm -hmm. The Cherokee Indians gave this seed to the white settlers many years ago. So we have the Indians to thank for this one. Thank you. It's one of my favorites. Do these tomatoes look like the ones you get in the grocery store? Mm, no. Guess what? They don't taste like it either. These taste so much better. They taste almost like candy. They're so sweet, so flavorful. So try your farmer's market. See if you can go down there and get some tomatoes. Oh, and they're not all little like this either. Look at this. How about this one? That's pretty big. Mm -hmm. It's starting to ripen. Here's another one. It's about the size of a baseball. Oh, see that? Don't worry about that. That's just a snail. Snail took a little bite. Didn't hurt anything. You just cut that off. Ooh, that breeze feels good. We're only a month into summer and it has been really, really hot. And tomatoes are a lot like me. When it gets hot, I slow down and their leaves start to turn brown. And the sun is too hot, they get sunburned. Their, their tomatoes start to burn just like your skin does. And the little flower blossoms, they dry up. Tomatoes pretty much stop growing because it's too hot. So, I want to show you something. We're going to make some new tomato plants. Yeah. We're going to find a sucker. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how you can make your own tomato plant. Watch. Okay. This is a cherry tomato plant. Remember that black cherry I told you about? This is it. So, we want to look at the main vine right here. See how it follows? Well, what we want is this side shoot right here. This is the sucker. So we want to cut it right here where it matches the main vine. So we get our scissors, make a nice sharp cut, just like that. So there you have it. This is your sucker. We'll put it in a jar of water and we'll let it grow roots. You should start to see roots come out right along in here, about an inch out, all the way around. Then it's ready to plant. You can put it in a flower pot. You could put it in the ground. Just make sure you keep it watered. Kids, a real quick note before we go. Do not put your jar of suckers in the hot sun. They're babies. You have to be nice to them, okay? So find a shady spot, uh, maybe a front porch. Maybe you'll have to bring them inside for a week or so. That's okay. We're looking for temperatures about 70s, low 80s. Keep your water level up. And if it turns green, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Pretty soon, you'll be ready to plant your new tomato plants. I've got a tomato joke for you. Okay, here we go. What did the papa tomato say to the baby tomato? What do you think he said? He said, come on, hurry, catch up. <laughs> we'll see you later, kids. Have fun.